Which is better for your anti-aging skincare routine? Is it peptides or retinoids? I am answering this much anticipated question for you in this video today. So by the end of my video, you are going to know exactly which one to choose for your skincare routine and then how to incorporate it to get actual results. I'm Dr. Marin Locke, known here as the Budget Dermatologist, where I help you keep skincare simple and affordable and help you get real results. So make sure you're subscribed and come say hi on Instagram or TikTok at the Budget Dermatologist. Now, if you saw my recent video on my channel, you know that I did a bit of a deep dive into peptides for anti-aging, which I have become very interested in. I've been dabbling in some peptide products in my own routine from different brands and really just evolving my skincare routine over time. So I just love sharing my journey here with you all so that you can learn along with me and just help keep your skincare simple and effective. All right, so both peptides and retinoids are touted to have similar benefits. They both produce collagen in your skin for those anti-aging improvements to help smooth out those fine lines and wrinkles, but they work differently to do that collagen production, but both can be effective, okay? So peptides work to produce collagen because they mimic the function of these naturally occurring proteins in your skin. And what this does is trick your cells into performing certain functions like repairing or rejuvenating the skin. Now, retinoids, on the other hand, are molecules that bind to specific retinoid receptors in your skin cells, and this triggers them to produce new collagen and enhance cell turnover. Again, both ways can be effective, it's just different mechanisms of action. Now, aside from collagen production, there are some differences, key differences, between retinoids and peptides. So retinoids can have more benefit for acne treatment. For example, they do a great job of improving the skin texture and treating hyperpigmentation or dark spots on the skin. While peptides, on the other hand, can be used for a more targeted approach. So you have different types of peptides that can be used for different things like anti-inflammatory benefits, which can also help improve acne, um, peptides specifically for wound healing or skin barrier repair or hydration, just to name a few benefits. So depending on your specific concern or your host of concerns for your skin, you may find that one category is more beneficial overall for you than the other, or you might want to utilize peptides to create a more targeted approach for your skincare routine. But now let's talk about one of the major differences between peptide products compared to retinoid products for skincare. And this one is huge, okay? Peptides are way, like way more gentle on the skin, whereas retinoids are typically more irritating and difficult to tolerate. If you know, you know, if you've had that classic retinoid dermatitis when you started a new retinoid product, it can be rough. So peptides are the clear winner here if you are side effect prone or you have sensitive skin. But now let's talk about the elephant in the room here, which is actually more effective at producing collagen and erasing your fine lines and wrinkles. Is it peptides or retinoids? The answer is, well, it's not so cut and dry, okay? So retinoids are among the most extensively researched and clinically proven anti-aging ingredients ever. Peptides really do not have the same level or body of science behind them to prove their skincare benefits. And I have also not been able to find a study that have compared head-to-head -head retinoids versus peptides um, to see which one does a better job at collagen production. But now with that said, there have been studies done on peptides that show or prove their benefits and their efficacy when it comes to penetrating the skin to actually cause new collagen production. So in terms of which is more effective at collagen production, the answer is that we just have more proof with retinoids, but we should not count out peptides. And I think that as the technology of skincare and the delivery of products into our skin and the stabilization of some of these skincare ingredients improves, we can expect to see more studies and benefits coming from peptides, whether it's oral, injectable, or topical application. And as you may know, retinoids are very tricky. You have to place them in your skincare routine extremely carefully, and I almost never recommend that you layer them with other ingredients, especially topical acids or vitamin C because your risk of irritation is way too high. So now with all of that said, here is my current recommendation on anti-aging skincare when you are considering 
peptides versus retinoids. I am not, not replacing my retinoid with peptides just yet. I think that the benefits of using retinoids are tremendous. They are proven and they are safe long-term. I am loving peptides in my morning routine for their added benefits of skin barrier repair, hydration of the skin and their antioxidant protection from UV, as well as the collagen production or the anti-aging benefits. So it really is the perfect addition to a morning skincare routine if you have the goal of anti-aging and skin protection, which I know so many of us here do. Now you can incorporate peptides by either using a dedicated serum, or you can carefully choose products with added peptides in them, like moisturizers with peptides. So coming up soon, I'm going to do a little informal get ready with me video where I show you my peptide skincare routine, and I'll show you some of the products that I've tried and loved. But for now, I'm going to link some of my favorites in the description of this video. So if you're going to grab one of those and try it out, I recommend you can layer these with your other morning treatment product like vitamin C serum, for example, or you can use them on alternating days. You can never go wrong with that approach. But if you do want to layer them, make sure you are choosing a peptide product with a very simple formulation without a lot of other added ingredients to reduce your chance of irritation from layering. Now, if you happen to be somebody that just cannot tolerate retinoids or you do not want to use retinoids in your routine, then check out peptides. That is another one of my alternative anti-aging products that I like to recommend along with Bacuchiol serum or Bacuchiol uh, moisturizers or products. You know, I've talked about those extensively on my channel. So peptides, Bacuchiol, those are other types of anti-aging products that you can put in your routine if you cannot use retinoids or if you wanna use something in addition. There are just so many applications and benefits to peptides that I am so excited about. Next up on my list to share with you all is peptides for your nails. So brittle cracked nails are such a problem for so many people. I have lots of patients come into my dermatology practice and ask me for help with this all of the time. So hit subscribe, turn on the notifications here to my channel. If you wanna learn more about peptides for your nails coming up soon. And then again, if you wanna see my peptide skincare routine that I've been trying out lately, that's coming up as well. So hit subscribe and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.